The Batavis Flying Dutchman. Where is it bad of us? This thing is a woman's three speed. And I think it's from the 1970s. So it's probably made by Raleigh. Like if you look right here, it says made in England. Made in merry old England. This is probably after Raleigh bought up everything. It's got your Sturmy Archer three speed, you know, pretty stock stuff. Little bell. Well, guess that doesn't work. But the light is by uh, Nordlicht. And then if I go around to the other side, you can see the generator. Nordlicht Sport. Let's put my hand behind there so we can focus on it. That's kind of cool. So you get your head tube logo, which is actually a painted head tube with a riveted on logo, like a riveted on badge, so that's cool. And this thing right here looks like like a 57 Chevy Fender or something. That's really American kind of looking. But at the same time, it's got sort of a Art Deco, Denmark, mid-century modern look. Tires, they're not gum walls, they're like gum everything. And the gum has uh, de-gummed. So somebody will have to replace those. They still hold air though. And front hub, I'm not sure exactly what that is. It's, uh, oh, you know, here's what it is. It's an Atom. Atom hub. So check this out. Batavas. That's a really cool logo. It's kind of like Art Deco-y. And I have no idea what that says. Looks like they cut corners on the seat a little bit. No biggie, still comfortable. This rack out back is fantastic. It's like a nice tubular rack with a, like a rat trap. This bike has a mind of its own. It likes to kind of get away from me in the wind. Looks like they bought it at the Tvivailhuts, whatever that is. In Vinsum Gron, yeah. I don't speak German. Rear reflector, again, Art Deco 50s American car looking. And this rear reflector, wow. You know, what a pancake that thing is, it's beautiful. Now on the side, this is a girl's bike, so they have these side skirts so that your skirt doesn't get caught in the spokes. And that's pretty wild. Now these are really deteriorated. The one on the other side is totally shot. But that's kind of cool. The brakes are these sort of dual fulcrum kind of synchron. See how that works? Those are kind of neat. I've seen those before. Pedals, nothing special that do the job. Uh, what are these? Probably, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Cranks, just cottered cranks. And then here's the uh, Intercycle Holland. See, now that's weird. Intercycle Holland, but it's made in England, possibly by Raleigh. I'd have to do my history. Now this has a full chain case, which is good if you don't want to get your skirt or socks greasy. And then it has this really kind of I don't know, I mean, this, this looks like a bracket you put on your lawnmower or something. This doesn't really look like a stock three-speed bracket, but I guess it does the job. And I'm going to flop this thing over so you can see how this chain case is on the bottom. See, this isn't a metal case. This is actually vinyl. It's got a snap. I'm not going to undo the snap. And then on the bottom, it's like a spring, which kind of serves as a seam, I guess. And I think there's this rod. So if I had to guess, and I'm not gonna mess around with this bike, if I had to guess you pull this rod out and then it releases the two halves of the, the vinyl case. Now to me, that looks like just a nightmare trying to service that, like trying to service the chain or put a new tire on. But I could be wrong. 
So let's stand the bike back up again. Now here's your Flying Dutchman logo again. And the Intercycle logo right there. Now this fork, it's totally swept out. So is that what they call low trail? Yeah, I read a bunch about a bunch about low trail on Lovely Bicycle, but I really didn't follow what she was saying. So maybe a refresher course is on in order. There's that front fender again. And then down here is this really cool serial number bracket. It's like a tag with a with some kind of number on it. You know, does that mean October or something? I really don't know. Here's the wiring for the light. The wiring goes in the stem and it looks like it comes out the down tube for the front and I don't see any wiring go to the... No, nope, it does. So it comes out the down tube for the front and then it follows all the way through the frame and comes out the left chain stay and goes to a rear light that is no longer in service. And here's that left uh, fender skirt. So unfortunately for me, these kinds of bikes are out of vogue right now. There's another little badge. I don't know what that's for. But unfortunately right now, these bikes are kind of out of vogue. Like there was a time that my bike buyer would have snapped this up and sold it within a week for three or four hundred bucks, but now I don't know. But it's definitely a unique bike, definitely th something that's interesting to find. So hopefully there's somebody still around here, a Newburger Beacon, who's into the Dutch bike thing. And if not, well, I don't mind being stuck with it for a while. So that is the Batavis Flying Dutchman here as usual in the beautiful city of Newburgh.